Okay, you guys, thank you for being here on another episode of songwriting techniques, skills. Um, I, I've i been fiddling around with the, um, with the vocals, and I'm going to play something that I did vocals with, and, uh, and also... It was a real, a real tedious um, job setting up the microphone, and there's some technical issues going on in the DAW. Uh, also, there's, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but uh, there's some sort of latency when I hit record, and it's weird. So I was able to record some vocals without any latency. I know it doesn't make sense what I'm saying, but uh, anyways, I got something down. It was very tedious because um, again, there was a lot of technical issues going on and I did try to set up the bass on, uh, on Amplitude 5, but it sounded horrible through the speakers, through the reference speakers. Again, this is my PVT uh, T40 uh, bass and it's going through my uh, my guitar rig unfortunately um, and also I cannot turn it up really loud because it really is very boomy and uh, it's got a couple of broken uh, switches and uh, so I'm just playing it the way it is just to get an idea uh, of what it would sound like so uh, yeah so here we go it's gonna repeat also the track because uh, I recorded some vocals and this is how I come up with ideas uh, for a song. Uh, I come up with some some thingamajig and next thing you know I get all into it and then I start coming up with lyric ideas. So this is what I came up with. It's called After the song is called After the Rapture. <laughs> it's called After the Rapture. Uh, yeah. Take them all and do the fire. Take them all and do the
Yeah, so um, uh, this was uh, uh, it was pretty tedious setting up the um, uh, the reverb, and um, uh, I'm really new at all of this, so it's really difficult. <clears throat> and um, uh, let me show you real briefly. Um, what this sunset reverb uh, does and um, maybe not what it does well let me see um, <clears throat> let me get rid of this uh, uh, by the way these uh, these effects that I'm using um, these are all from T-Rex uh, IK Multimedia the ones who make Amplitude 5 and I got this this might be my vocal chain from now on um, because, uh, uh, and maybe alternate the reverb, um, and also I might get the Universal Audio, uh, Vox Box, the Manly Vox Box. It's about $50, um, and I got this from some guy, um, I hope it looks clear, um, I don't know why the screen looks a little blurry, let me clean the, um, the lens um, no I guess it's from my side my screen uh, and I got this chain from this guy uh, some rapper not that I like rap but he was someone who was doing a tutorial on uh, on vocals what caught my attention was this I don't know why this keeps popping up man I tell you this this uh, uh, fuck um, there's a lot of bits and little fucking things that pop up that 
piss me off, man, from this fucking system. I don't know why they pop up all the time. And other little... Ugh. Um, uh, this one was more stable on my MacBook Pro uh, with the... Uh, 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 anyways... Um, this is um, this is with the newest uh, latest operating system on Mac with a MacBook Air 2 and um, I'm kind of regretting buying this laptop because uh, well I think there's some late there's some latency for sure and also um, I I think I well I might sell it I'm not sure yet but I know that I'm going to buy a really, really powerful uh, Mac Pro uh, desktop uh, when I get the trailer. I mean, a monster. Because uh, I'm sick of these uh, latency issues. And this is the basic computer model. 8 gigs of RAM and... Uh, 250 gigs of hard drive. Anyway, so I found this guy who who said he was doing all uh, T-Rex uh, uh, plugins for his vocal strip, and this is uh, and I followed his chain. So he mentioned uh, I don't think he used this master EQ. He used a different one, um, and uh, but he did use this one, the uh, the saturator. And I have never used this thing before until this guy showed it on the video, okay? And uh, uh, I, you have to like really put some headphones on or be very, very um, meticulous about listening and being patient because uh, you have to activate it, deactivate it. In other words, you on and off, on and off to hear the comparison until you, uh, you know, you you really are able to to hear. Uh, a big comparison and and I was able to do that uh, so this is why I'm thinking that this will be my my signal chain from my vocal signal chain from now on because um, I really like it and uh, in fact let me play you just the vocals by themselves before I go further and um, um, where is vocal solo here we go Take them up and to be fired. Take them up and to be fired. The prophets are coming away and everyone sees and cry. I am the down the rosteros who bring you a time to the Christ. So take them all and you be fine. The prophets are coming away, and everyone sees and cry. Also, I had to uh, <clears throat> I had to create a stack. Take them all. I had to create a stack on uh, on the on all the keyboards. Um, to see if the latency would go away and unfortunately it did not so I put all the keyboards uh, the alchemy keys uh, contact and drums percussion and alchemy plus vocal I forget what else that is um, so I created it into a stack it's supposed to help with latency but obviously it well, anyways, so this is the uh, that's it This is just the keyboards and the percussion. And then here's the guitar. Time to the 
Okay, so um, so as I was saying, uh, this guy did a tutorial, a, a video on a, on a song, a band he did, recorded and mixed and all that. And uh, these are the units that he used. And so the saturator, um, again, I don't know, I don't remember, I don't, I don't think he used this one. He used, actually, he used a different one, I remember now. And um, so uh, there's a master EQ, there's different ones. Uh, but what I did follow was, uh, even though I didn't use his, um, um, even though I did not use the EQ that he used, what I did use, copy is, or near is, adjust the, the, the numbers, uh, the frequencies, like 14 kilohertz right here on the highs, and I think, I don't remember if he had those, I don't remember. Uh, but these are all like really intricate frequencies uh, adjustments and uh, and you can hear the difference if you pay real close attention with some headphones you really can uh, I did follow um, his uh, his adjust his number frequency on the low mids and highs and um, I was playing with the shelving also and this guy here and I, like again you got to hear some headphones to really hear uh, what they do uh, but it's really, really neat uh, uh, how you can set up, how you can adjust frequencies and, I mean, yeah, um, uh, eventually I'll start learning uh, the frequency numbers and, you know. Uh, anyways, here's another one, the uh, Stealth Limiter. This one I was about to throw away, um, meaning delete it from the track because it sounded horrible. And I said, how come on his it sounds really neat though? Well, uh, when you start playing <laughs> um, with these buttons, then you know what the hell they're doing. So I was able to get this thing to sound right. Well, you, you heard it. But also, um, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but, <laughs> but I know it sounds real cool. Once I got it to work, and once I started fiddling with these uh, with these uh, volume level adjustment levels, and then, um, then I didn't realize I didn't know that um, it can combine really interesting with this reverb, um, and when you adjust the uh, right here the low f the the frequencies, you can even hear the wet. Of the reverb affect it, um, affect the reverb. So it was really, really interesting playing with all this stuff. For example, if you adjust, when I adjusted the the highs, it would it would reduce some of the reverberation. I could either increase it or leave it where it was. You got to find the right balance according to your ear, um, you know, and. Uh, and I have never used this thing with the reverb level wet this low, um, never. And I'm finding ways to learn this thing. Really, really neat stuff. Um, but when you blend them with this guy, then you even hear more. Uh, 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 I don't know what to call them, really harmonics. Uh, frequencies, uh, pitches, uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what to call these things. All I know is that they sound really cool. <laughs> and uh, uh, let me find the vocal track here again. Take them up and to be fired. Take them all and to be fired. The prophets are coming the way, and everyone sees that I cry. Yeah, because before, um, man, it sounded terrible. Um, before I started fiddling with it, and I was getting really discouraged, man. I was like, wow, man. So if you just play with it and take your time, um, you'll find 
your your sound. It was a lot of fun. Take them off and to be fire. And then the other one was well Take them off the and to be fire. The prophets are coming away and everyone sees the cry. Yeah. I am the the compressor was next. Uh, and then you start blending. Well, actually, no, the compressor. Well, you can't. You, yeah, I started mixing the, the threshold uh, on the compressor and uh, just wondering what the hell they do. But you got to remember where the hell you left it when you started, you know, because when you make a, a change, you better remember where it was. Otherwise, you do a bunch of Mickey Mouse. And that's another thing I've been learning. So if you start on 20 and you want to hear what it does on uh, on, on on 30 or, or 50, um, remember where it was at, you know, because if you don't like it, you got to remember where it was at before. And you start playing with all these things, uh, adjustments, and then you have all your 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 choices. You got the, the vintage opto. Um, this one I didn't like too much. This one I didn't like too much. This one, uh, no, this one was okay. This one was the best one. Um, this one was all right. Um, certain ones bring out certain vowels and vocal pitches, harmonics, uh, better than the other. And this one was the best one. I forget what it's modeled after, but it's fantastic. It's wonderful. And uh, um, so, yeah, when you start blending in all three you know, the sunset reverb and the low frequencies and all that stuff. And then you got this guy too. Man, you've got a nice, nice system. And of course, the final one is the uh, is the EQ. Uh, I think probably the EQ should be the last one uh, to, to adjust. Um, anyways, um, uh, I hope you like this video. And um, I I hope to, to get my... Uh, my mini tar uh, soon here. Uh, the brackets for it were supposed to arrive today by 2:30. Now I'm looking at the freaking uh, tracking, and it says by the end of the day. <laughs> like what the fuck, man? You know. Anyways, again, I ordered a Mo a Moog mini tar, and um, it's on back order. They didn't tell me that when I bought it, you know, yeah, they get your money first and then they tell you, oh, by the way, we don't have it, you know, so <laughs> anyway, stay tuned and thank you very much for, for watching. Uh, bye. Oh, the lead guitar, some lead guitar, guitar will be coming up next. <laughs>